Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTO T312 Annex A Evaluating Superpave Gyratory Compactor SGC Molds. This video demonstrates the verification of a gyratory mold diameter. To verify the measurement readings of a three point internal bore gauge, Bring the internal bore gauge and calibrated master ring to a temperature of 64 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the master ring on a hard, flat surface and insert the bore gauge into the master ring. To properly tighten a bore gauge, a circular motion is used to help center it in the master ring. Turn on the bore gauge and center it. Then tighten by turning the top dial clockwise using a circular motion until it clicks two or three times. Record the reading on the screen and confirm that it is within 0.0001 inches of the calibrated inside diameter of the master ring. Loosen the bore gauge and remove it from the master ring. Thoroughly clean the mold and remove any residue from the inside surfaces. Verify that the mold temperature is between 64 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Identify the wear area and test elevations for your mold. If the gyratory ram comes down from the top, the wear area will be in the bottom portion of the mold. But if the ram pushes up from the bottom, the wear area will be in the top portion of the mold. Place marks on both the upper and lower rims of the mold to identify the measurement locations, A, B, C. A is the starting point and may be at any point on the rim. B will be 90 degrees from A and C will be 180 degrees from A. Mark corresponding points on the other end of the mold. Place the mold so that the wear area is down. Insert a 50 mm spacer block to obtain readings for elevation 1. Insert the bore gauge until it rests on the spacer block. Align one of the three arms with A and tighten the bore gauge. Record the reading and then loosen the bore gauge. Rotate the bore gauge and align the arm with position B. Tighten the bore gauge, record the reading, and then loosen the bore gauge. Rotate the bore gauge and align the arm with position C. Tighten the bore gauge, record the reading, and then loosen and remove the bore gauge from the mold. Insert the second 50 mm block on top of the first block for elevation 2 for a total of 100 mm. Insert the bore gauge and repeat the measurement process at positions A, B, and C. Loosen and remove the bore gauge from the mold. Turn the mold over and insert a 50 mm block. This is elevation 3. Insert the bore gauge and repeat the measurement process at positions A, B, and C. Loosen and remove the bore gauge from the mold. Compare each measurement to the specified range. The mold shall not be used if any reading is outside the range. If the mold is brand new, all the readings must be between 149.90 to 150.00 millimeters. If the mold has been in service, all readings must be less than or equal to 150.2 millimeters.
please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.